My name's Candice. I'm from uh, Mason's Minibus and Cape Tyre. I have a drive to um, better my business, uh, to ensure it has a future, a secure future, um, so that I can live in a, in a comfortable lifestyle. And um, I wanted to find out more about how I could make my business run uh, profitably and well without me necessarily and my family doing every day-to-day -day job to make that happen and that's you embark on a business and because it's your passion and there's a lot more to business than just doing the bit you're passionate about so um, I wanted some strategies. Um, Limitless is a very thought-provoking and very inspiring um, opportunity and you should feel privileged to be given the opportunity to join in with the, the education that we've learned, uh, the things that we've learned, the people that we've met. Um, you're amongst a group of people who are very like-minded to you and that in itself can be quite an inspiring um, position and environment to surround yourself with but then when you have knowledgeable, experienced um, speakers who have done those things, been where you are and, and done different things then that's very motivational. Yes, so for me, the light bulb moment was when we were looking at marketing and there was um, a suggestion that a business should start with its marketing plan and strategy and if you get that part right, effectively you then have customers to sell your product or service to. It's just so obvious, I don't know why I hadn't sort of thought about that being one of the starting points. Um, and how important that is and to me it can sometimes be a bit of a, a bit of a sideline I think oh yes put a, get an email out or put a something on Facebook and that's it needs to be a big priority. It is so important to take time out of your business to take a step back to review it to analyze it look at what's working well think about what's not it's very easy to get bogged down in day-to-day -day grind of your business of life, your children, your family. Um, so it's, it is very important to take a few steps back, take stock, continue learning, because without learning, you're not really moving forward. Um, think about what your goals were. Have you achieved them? What are your next goals? How are you going to get there? Who are you going to need to help you get there? And that is part, this is part of that process. If you have any desire to grow your business and to find out more about how to do that, this would 100% be the place to do, that, to do that. Oh my goodness, right, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm in the bridal suite, <laughs> so lovely. It's absolutely, Rushton Hall is stunning. It's got the most amazing history. Um, you feel like you're in some stately home. Um, the, gr the grounds are really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, really magical place to be. I arrived on this experience thinking I knew what I wanted to get out of this, but actually what I'm leaving with is different tools and a different perspective. Um, my ultimate goal is to make the business profitable enough without me needing and my husband and my family needing to be in that on a day-to-day -day life. And before I arrived here, I thought that was a possibility but now I feel like that is achievable and in a much swifter timescale than I thought. I can, I can visualise that happening now. Uh, my mindset's completely different. Um, I would be planning to go back into the office on Monday morning and getting stuck into day-to-day -day answering phones and dealing with those bits, but um, my team don't know this. I'm not going in. <laughs> um, I'm going to take what we've done this weekend and really start to drill down into what I can do with that. I'm going to put some meetings in with my my management team and all of next week will be about what, what I've learned and hopefully um, instilling some of that inspiration into, into, into the rest of my team to flood down into the rest of the business. That's the plan. <laughs>